Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix your game audio and microphone audio desynchronization. If you have sync issues when you're capturing games with microphone audio in OBS software. So here I am in my little brother's room and we have the Nintendo Switch hooked up to the Elgato capture card that's connected directly to the computer. And we're trying to capture our audio from the microphone while playing the game, but we're having a problem where the microphone audio is not lining up to where we're actually speaking when we're playing. So to show you an example of that delay, I'm gonna have my little brother play Mario Tennis and every time that they hit the ball, I'm gonna say the word hit. And then we'll see if when I say the word hit on the playback, once it's finished recording, if my hits and my dialogue is coming on together at the right time. So go ahead and play Logan. Let's see here. Hit, 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 hit. All right, so let's check that out. Hit, 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 hit. So as you can hear, my timing is definitely off with the microphone. My microphone audio is coming in way too early compared to the gameplay. Now with all game capture devices, you're always gonna have a delay from the actual gameplay that you're doing live to the actual capture that's being recorded into the computer. Now, the mic audio is coming in sooner and there's less of a delay. So the way we can actually get our microphone to sync up with our gameplay, we actually have to put a delay on the microphone audio input in the OBS software to match up with our gameplay. Now, in order to do that, we have to use a video editing program in order to get the recorded test that we just did where my audio is off. And what we're going to have to do in the video editing program is move the video track and the audio track separately to find the spot where they should align. I know that sounds confusing, but just follow me step by step and I'll help you guys figure it out. Now for the editing program, you don't need a fancy editing program. You can use something that's free. You can use something that came with your computer. We're using Vegas Pro, but you can use any professional or cheap free software. Now, when you have your software open, like I do here with Vegas Pro, you're gonna wanna make sure that your timeline is set to the frame rate, the frames per second that you have your game capture. For the Nintendo Switch, it's 60p, 60 frames per second. So we already have that set up here. Now we need to go and import the video file. The first one that we did, that one that had the desynchronized video and audio where our mic was coming in too early. Go ahead and import that into your program, then drag that into your timeline. Now, once you have that, now you're gonna wanna find the first time you say hit. Here it is for me. Hit, hit. Now, hit. As we've seen, the video doesn't match up. So what you're gonna need to do is make sure that you have your video and audio selected to be able to move left or right on the timeline independently. So what we're gonna try to do is move our video till we get to that first hit to match up with the action. Right there, there's a hit. So. I matched up the hit with the audio where you can see the waveform where I say hit. Now let's see if this makes it work. Hit, 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 hit. Now that seems pretty on point. Hit, hit, hit. Maybe a little still too early. So let me make, maybe, maybe just move it a little bit more. Let's try this. All right, so that seems to be right on time. So what we need to do now is look at that difference from the video and the audio. See this space here where there's no audio linked up. So here we're gonna count the frames that we're off. So I'm gonna go one frame at a time and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So there we have 38 frames is how off we are. All right, so now we know that we're 38 frames off. Now, in order to really get this right on OBS, we need to do a little bit of math and we are going to search on your browser for a converter. On Google, go ahead and put frames to milliseconds or MS converter. Just search that and your top result is one that I like to use. It's called endmemo.com. Click on that. And now here on endmemo.com, go ahead and put your frames per second that you're using for your capture, which like I said, for the Nintendo Switch is 60. So we're gonna click on 60 and then we're gonna click calculate. Now here you'll see 0 0.06. You're gonna use this figure to do some math. Now we're going to go ahead and open up a calculator. If you don't have a calculator on your app or on your phone, on your browser, on Google, you can just type in calculator and then you'll have one that pops up. Now we're gonna do some math with the 38 frames and then the number that came up here on the end memo. So that 0.06. Now with the calculator open, you're gonna do your frames, which is 38 for us, but you put in whatever your frame was off by, and then you're gonna do divided by, and then you're gonna take this number here, the frames per millisecond that we got from nmemo. You can either copy it or you can just type it in. So for us, 0 0.06. So 0 0.06, and then you're gonna put equals. Now that's going to give you a figure here. Now that number just round to the nearest and that's going to be your millisecond delay. So go back to OBS and you're going to go to your mic aux audio channel on your audio mixer and click the little gear button. That's for settings. Then go to advanced audio properties. There you're going to see sync offset and you're going to select for the mic aux input and go ahead and change that zero to that new number that we got, 633 milliseconds. Go ahead and close. And now we're going to do a test recording to see if this fixed it for us. So now we're gonna do another test and this should be where the audio is actually on point. So Logan, go ahead and play and I'll say hit every time you hit. And let's see, hit, 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 hit. Oh man. So there you guys have it. That's how you make your microphone audio sync up to your actual gameplay when you're doing game capture on the OBS software. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any more questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.